It's a new cocaine substitute sweeping the nation. It delivers a quick and dangerous high. Charge plus white lightning. Psychologically, they can cause delusions. They commit suicide, which is what happened. And in Connecticut, it's perfectly legal. The label says it's bath salts with whimsical names like Ivory Snow and Hurricane Charlie. But this powder is so powerful, it's earned the nickname meth on crack. They can cause convulsions. They can cause high blood pressure, rapid heart rate, heart attacks, psychosis, paranoia, and they're quite easy to get. It's smoked, snorted, and injected. That's all, and we're about to try it, about to try it out. Yeah. I'm going to cut you a line. And now it's in Connecticut. Was the ER doctor on top of it? The state's poison control center had no reports of bath salts use in 2010, but this year they're getting calls about overdoses in our state. It's extremely dangerous, and I think we're at the tip of the iceberg. What's marketed as an innocent household item is really an amphetamine with a high similar to cocaine, but with powerful hallucinations. <laughs> Bath salts are now completely banned in Louisiana, Florida, and New Jersey. The ban in New Jersey passed only weeks after prosecutors there say 23-year-old William Paricio murdered his girlfriend during a rage fueled by a bath salts high. I am very concerned about the explosion of abuse in these drugs, which very soon will reach Connecticut in substantial numbers. Senator Richard Blumenthal sponsored a bill in the Senate this year to outlaw the dangerous substance nationwide. What our legislation does is not only ban them, because right now they're totally unregulated, but also raise awareness among parents and health care providers, because a lot of people can buy these drugs, and they're very cheap and unfortunately very easy to abuse. We went to smoke shops and gas stations across the state to see how widespread the substance is. Many places refused to sell it. But we found bath salts for sale at the Wasteland shop in Torrington, $30 for half a gram. There's a demand from a certain population of the community for it, and we believe that people have a right to make their own decisions. Sales of bath salts and synthetic marijuana have doubled business at Wasteland. To keep up, they've hired new staff. And bath salts is a booming business in another place, drug treatment centers. Mountainside Rehab in Canaan treats many addictions, including bath salts. The center just got a new patient last week. The patient here at Mountainside dealing with a powerful bath salts addiction was too fragile to speak with us during our recent visit, but he says that drug decimated his life. It's life. very addictive. And what we've learned from some clients that we have had through treatment here is that People will not unusually use this like crystal meth. They will use it for days long binges. Keep using it and keep using it. And because of the relative inexpensive nature of the product, they can get lots to use and the high can last for days and days. The staff at Mountainside wants a nationwide ban to pass quickly. Every slot in their rehab program is full and there's a waiting list. They hope legal help will slow the spread of the innocent looking drug with a powerful impact. It could ruin somebody's life very quickly. Indeed, it could take someone's life.